So, let's, uh, a couple packages. Actually, let's open this one first. Because this would be non-anime. Bought this for the upcoming, uh, um, movie party. The movie I know nothing about called Gone Fishing. So now that I actually have the cover, I recognize both those actors. <sighs> But instead, let's uh, separate from that and go the anime DVD collection update. The actual anime DVDs. So, we've only got two titles in here. Someday's Dreamer 2 and Idol Master Xenoglossia. Let's see. Let's see if that's enough so that we can take a peek. Cursed gloves! <sighs> Alright. We're going to have to take this one off. This should be all I need though. We're going to just take the plastic off of both of these and take a quick peek. On the inside. And slip this back on. That's been my trick all day, is taking these on and off. So, this one I've been curious about. I do believe I downloaded and watched the first episode once. And the pictures I've seen of it since make absolutely no sense to me. So I've been quite curious about finally seeing it. And this, of course, the first Someday's Dreamer was released a long time ago. And I think it's also made a long time ago compared to this one. So, no, I never finished watching it. But maybe this will cause me to go back. And finally, the other thing for this update is uh, another NIS release. Natsume's Book of Friends, Season 1 and 2 Premium Edition. Looks quite nice. So we've got discs that are season one and season two. Pretty simple on the inside. But about expected. This, though, is a booklet. It's a standard booklet. There's the advertisement. I think this is a lot smarter place to put it. It's clever people at NIS. Huh. And we can see it's a lot of your stereotypical stuff that we find in here. Relevant text, commentary, art bunch of good stuff. And I think this series actually rates pretty well too. Although I've not checked, so I guess I can't say for certain. But there we go. Uh, it's not a huge update, but it's still an update. This week's anime DVDs. Actually watched a pretty decent amount of anime this week. I'm not sure exactly why. I guess. Okay, so for starters, new stuff I watched. First, uh, Dead Man Wonderland. Now it's not the first thing I finished, but it is the first thing I started. And or was it? Oh, well, I guess uh, my notes didn't even get anything else. So Dead Man Wonderland. Overall, um. I actually thought that was uh, interesting. Sometimes it kind of felt a little forced and contrived in terms of looking for ways to be violent and mean, I guess. But it wasn't over the top in that regard. And as long as you kind of know that's what it's doing, which it was kind of obvious it would be doing something like that, then I think you're pretty good. 
worst case, you don't, but you can kind of get ramped up into it because of the way the series works. And overall, it was interesting, although it was incomplete. I didn't quite expect it to make one certain shift in closer into a certain more generic genre. But I don't want to mention that because that's a bit spoilerific to mention. So we'll just keep it at, you know, it did go into there. And it wasn't too bad. The only problem I'd have is that it, I guess overall, kind of made it feel like the series didn't have as much focus. And I think a lot of that is because it's not really the end of the series. A lot of it was leading up to where it evolved into, and there's more beyond it, I'm assuming, because where it ended, it didn't feel like it really ended per se. A lot of open-ended stuff at the end. So I'm guessing either it's a first season and no other seasons were made, or an incomplete manga, maybe. Or maybe I just didn't get it. Not, not It wasn't a bad series. It was just... Something felt off about it. Let's see. I also watched Naruto Shippuden set 12, and I think I mentioned last time how I think set 11 was really fucking awesome. And how at the very end of it, it seemed to be falling back into a regular Naruto Shippuden cycle. Well, I have to say that uh, it hasn't fallen too much into that, fortunately. And it definitely didn't start falling into the original Naruto's thing, and instead, it's actually kept fairly relevant. I mean, I guess you could call some of the stuff of a couple of the stories relevant. And maybe the story that happened in this disc could be called fairly relevant. So not a, it's kind of, I'm going to call it pseudo filler simply because it does reveal interesting information. But at the same time, there were just very interesting things that happened in here that, um, I, I feel is maybe kind of hard to explain without maybe spoiling. But at a minimum, I thought it was actually pretty decent. And there was a question that came up in my mind about what would be happening next. And a peek at the name of a episode that's definitely coming in the next set release reassures me that Naruto Shippuden is finally in a state where it's moving and doing stuff. Now, how much of th that comes from it building stuff up to the point it is now, it's really hard to say. But it does have me intrigued, and at this point, I'm going to give Naruto Shippuden a lot more credit. It's finally starting to feel more consistently interesting, noteworthy, and worthwhile. <sighs> Let's see. Amongst all the things I've done, I did poke around a little bit with Heaven's Memo Pad. I think I got four or five episodes in. Hard to remember. But it's also really hard to kind of describe what I felt about that series. Because I guess it's sort of like Dead Man Wonderland. Where something about it... No, it's not like Dead Man Wonderland. It's... More like, not sure what to expect, not sure what I'm feeling. It's, something about it feels a little out of place in terms of the absurdity of what it's presenting, I guess. But I'm not entirely sure because, um, I don't know. It's strange, but I've only got like four or five episodes into it. And the reason I didn't get too much further is because I gave a lot of priority to the watching of other things. In particular, well, okay, so there's a ton of We Will Be Watch stuff. Um, I watched High School of the Dead with, uh, synchronized with a friend from California. That would be Charles, I guess. And... It was quite fun. I think I've done that since I don't know if I talked about it in the last update. First case, if I did talk about it, then I did finish watching Le High School of the Dead with him. I started watching it again with my brother tonight. Fun stuff. Uh, and 
I have to say, I really do appreciate the series. I think it very cleverly and smartly just approaches the whole zombie apocalypse concept. And it's able to cover a couple of ground differently, such in ways that uh, I feel like a lot of traditional zombie apocalypse stuff overlooks. And it's really hard to talk about exactly what that is without going into the specific details, but it is kind of present here and there, I think, throughout the series. For the most part, you know, the real strange thing, of course, you could say about High School of the Dead is all the fan service in it, and again, I've thought that it's actually not completely out of place, where zombie movies tend to go over the top with a ton of different stuff, and a High School of the Dead is nice because it just does it in a very anime way, and the fan service is there, and it's sometimes strange, but I don't often feel like it's completely out of place. Always. There's a couple of strange, strange scenes. But overall, I really appreciate it, and it's one of my favorite zombie apocalypse. Um, anythings. I mean, I watched The Walking Dead, and I've seen the first two seasons, and those are pretty awesome. And I would put High School of the Dead on a comparable level of interestingness in terms of the approach to the zombie apocalypse genre from a seriousness perspective and from a pure entertainment perspective I definitely rate it higher simply because it is anime, it is so very anime it is the anime zombie apocalypse anime which is why, you know, it'd be nice if there was more but if there's not, there's not. I guess I could always start reading the manga, and if the manga's not being imported, then start uh, learning Japanese and doing that, or downloading translations or whatever. But, I, there's no rush there. <sighs> but, uh, other than High School of the Dead, I did start rewatching Trigun with uh, Charles again, which is always so very nice. I can't help but think that we also watched... Oh, of course, never mind. So, Trigun. We started watching Trigun as well. And we've gotten 16 episodes into it. And it's such a fascinating series to look at. Not because... Well, okay, so part of that is, of course, because it is what it is and people really enjoy it. But it's also really interesting to... Um, kind of see how compelling the story remains despite obvious flaws in the animation, cheapness to it, etc. And ob obviously episodes I don't care about, like a BDN and the episode that comes after that. So that would be episodes 7 and 8, I think. Yeah, I don't care for those episodes. But you know what? I still really like Trigun overall. And... I really appreciate re-watching it. Lots of fond memories of doing that. The first time I figured out how to do homework while watching anime at the same time was one of the times I was re-watching Trigun. And that homework was trigonometry homework where all I had to do was write down the problem because I didn't really need to write down the answer. It was complicated. But Trigun, lots of good memories of that. And uh, last but not least, oh, definitely not least, uh had a friend who hadn't come over in a while who finally came over and we watched Shiki. Uh, I don't remember how many episodes we watched. I should have checked before doing the update, but whatever. And it's a compelling series. I've not watched it from the beginning since I watched it all the way through the one time I did. And I had a pretty good opinion there. And watching it now, it, I thought it was kind of actually kind of hard to stop because it's just a compelling watch. Uh, it kind of falls under a similar category of High School of the Dead. Now, it, it's not in a, the fan service category. I think Shiki does a much better job of being divorced and separated from that. And I think Shiki would actually be a little bit out of place with that sort of stuff, given the kind of atmosphere it's trying to build. Again, High School of the Dead works because there's because it's kind of got the same atmosphere that a lot of over-the-top action-y movies would have. And there's actually kind of a way to mix fan service in with that, which I think High School of the Dead does pretty decently in terms of the mixing part. Now, Shiki doesn't need that because it's going for a completely different atmosphere, 
And because it doesn't do that, that of course makes it work. But the thing that makes Shiki and High School of the Dead similar to me is that they're just really clever attempts at their genres of horror. And, and I, th I think I would call Shiki clever in that regard because, it, again, it, I found it very compelling. Like, I started watching and I wanted to keep watching. I was very curious what was going to happen next. Even though I already know what all happens, etc. So a lot of that is me projecting what my friend might have been experiencing watching it, blah, 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 blah. I think that covers about everything because any other free time I've probably been either working on this Mario costume you see here, which there was a bit more experimentation than you might have thought going into this, or I was playing Mega Man Legends 2 or Pokemon White 2. Um, I can't help but think there was something else that I pro I've probably been playing. Oh yeah, Minecraft. Good old Minecraft. So there you go. Plenty of distractions, but no distractions for the rest of the month until the 31st, I think. So, there we go. That's everything I watched. The usual shout out to the people who have uh, remained up to watch the update and uh, somebody who just joined, who I don't know if they're even part of it. No. We've got uh, Charles P22, Deathmites, Duels902, JFS, Tiskangsta, and the Fat Kid for Life. Yo. And as for y'all, y'all have a nice week. It's-a me, Mario.